okay so today in this class we are going to discuss about uh, eg okay so from the first slide we are going to discuss about this uh, objectives of eeg practicals what is the objectives what is the main outcome okay uh, you can also call this as an uh, final outcome okay that is our objective our objective should be the outcome so here the final objective of eeg practical is familiarizing with principles of techniques involved okay familiarizing in the sense so far uh, <coughs> 1020 lead system is commonly used in this uh, eeg measurement still now okay that system has given a wonderful uh, response output of this uh, electrical activity and the analysis also it is very much uh, practically read and it is also uh, commonly uh, obtained one throughout the world okay so that is first point familiarizing the principles next one is count frequencies and measures the amplitude of the record obtained okay what is this it means all the electrodes were providing its own electrical signal that is the waveform and uh, finally we will be getting some uh, conclusions okay that conclusions gives the count frequencies and the measure uh, measure the amplitude uh, obtained okay by the amplitude and frequencies we can able to identify the actual issues are actually happening in the brain next one is uh, categories okay what are the categories that are present in the eeg wave okay usually this is this is classified into uh, four types alpha beta theta and this uh, theta okay next we are going to discuss uh, so what is this objective okay this objective is to identify and describe the changes produced by provocation test okay provocation test is very simple that is uh, when a person is a person is made to lay down on the table or, or the chair and they will be giving different uh, sounds and different uh, um, lights okay so that is just like the stimulus as is, as I, as we discussed in the previous uh, video this is just like a stimulus that is uh, next one is this waveforms ecg waveform and its uh, frequencies okay in ecg waveform already said in the previous slide that is alpha beta theta delta is there okay delta or in some in some books it will be referred as uh, theta okay So here for alpha waveform the frequency is eight to thirteen hertz. Eight okay, to thirteen hertz. Next uh, beta waveform is greater than thirteen hertz. Okay, greater than thirteen hertz. Next uh, theta theta waveform is. Four to eight hertz. Four to eight hertz, and finally, delta waveform is point five to four hertz. Point five to four hertz. So now, now let us rearrange this one, uh, these waveforms in the uh, 
frequency order in the frequency order and uh, for easy understanding purpose we will have uh, some hints also oh, we all know that tab key in our system okay tab 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 so before that you add one d d tab okay so d stands for delta wave and t span stands for theta wave a stands for alpha and b stands for beta so the uh, delta wave is 0.5 to 4 hertz and theta is 4 to 8 hertz and alpha is 8 to 13 hertz and finally beta is greater than 13 hertz okay so if you if uh, if we remember this d tab then we can write the order of the frequencies okay d delta theta alpha beta and how to remember the frequencies okay this frequency is uh, very simple it is the first one is 0.5 to 4 hertz okay next one is 4 to 8 just add another 4 hertz okay and again from 8 to 13 here you are supposed to add 6 hertz okay so by this way we can able to remember these uh, frequencies here is the waveform okay so delta waveform so 0.5 to 3 hertz it is it represents deep sleep when a person is in a deep sleep the scalp waveform obtained will be delta and theta theta is 4 to 7 hertz okay he is in deep meditation and dreaming meditation and dreaming next alpha i to 13 hertz okay here visualization and meditation visualization and meditation beta is 14 to 40 hertz it is wakefulness wakefulness is very simple all of them are thinking and uh, when we are awake not sleeping so just look at that previous uh, four three waveforms delta theta alpha if you look at uh, these uh, three waveforms all resembles when we are simply sitting or uh, sitting and uh, ideal i mean looking at something and our we are physically present and our and mentally we were absent right so this above four uh, waveform represents that condition and beta is full of wake condition okay we were alert and aware next finally gamma okay gamma is the highest perception okay perception in the sense the frequency is high okay it is uh, uh, around 1 uh, kilohertz So here is the simple waveform. This is a sorry, actual waveform obtained from an adult. Okay, again coming to this alpha. Alpha is uh, three to sorry eight to fifteen hertz, and uh, mostly where it will happen, it is happen in the occupational low. Now what is the voltage? It is twenty to two hundred microvolts. Relaxed, awake, rhythmic when eyes closed. Okay, that is very simple. When we are listening the music by closing our eyes, this is the waveform we will be getting. Then beta wave, it is irregular. Okay, because it is it is having a wide amplitude. That is four. Sorry. Wide uh, gap, okay, between fourteen to thirty hertz. Where it will happen? It will happen in the temporal and the frontal lobe. Mental activity, excitement. 
Then theta wave, it is 4 to 7 hertz. So where this will happen in the... Okay, recorded from parental and uh, in case of children, that is uh, small babies, it is uh, only 12. Then finally, delta wave. So delta wave is the very lowest waveform with uh, less than um, 3.5 kilohertz.